Hi, Money Makers, and welcome back to the channel. If you are in any way interested in growing wealth, making more money, having more money, then I would encourage you to first know the difference between the types of income that are available to you. Sounds great? Let's get into it. The very first income that we're going to discuss is earned income. So earned income is that income that you actually make from exchanging time for money. And when I say that, I mean in terms of the time that you spend at work, for instance, because you are actually giving of yourself your time, you are being compensated by your organization. So that is what earned income is. You're doing something for a period of time. And as a result of that, you're getting compensated for it. Okay. Then you have profit income is when you actually are buying and selling. But you want to make sure that you recognize that in order to truly assess how much your profit is, you have to take the expenses out. So, for instance, if you purchased a car for $2,000 and you turned around and you sold it for $5,000, you have to take the expense, the amount of money that you put up front out of the proceeds. So you would take that $5,000, you would minus your $2,000, the expenses, and now your profit is $3,000, okay? Simple, just wanted to make it very clear to you. Profit income is that income that you have once you've sold the product and you've taken the expenses out, all right? You have interest income. I mean, interest income is very common if you are a lender. So what happens here is that you as the lender lend money to someone or some entity at a, say, 10% interest rate. So you can assure that every month you're going to gain a certain amount of interest for a period of time until the loan is repaid. So that is exactly what interest is, your interest income. Capital gains income is when your assets are appreciating. And when it goes up in value, that income is the capital gains income. You also have your dividends income, and that's the income that you will gain from owning stock. So once you get stock, you have to make sure that the stock is actually dividend paying. And if it is dividend paying, then you will receive your dividend income every so often from the actual company. So you have to make sure though, guys, just because you own stock doesn't mean that they pay dividends. You want to make sure that they are dividend paying. Rental income. I love rental income. I know many people don't, but rental income can be great if you have a great tenant. So rental income is the actual income that you make from renting out your property. Now, I will tell you also that you will have to take in consideration if you are paying a mortgage on the property and say your mortgage is $1,500 a month and you're renting the property out for $2,900 a month, you have to take your expenses out of that before you claim it as true rental income. So if you're renting the property for $2,900, your expenses are $1,500, that will leave you with a rental income of $1,400, okay? But again, it's not money that you have to work for. I'd like to talk about royalty income and residual income pretty much together. The royalty income is the income that you're going to gain from someone using your product. For instance, anyone that has music or is a musician and their music is used by another band or another group or by a movie or what have you, they will get a royalty income from whomever is using that music in their movie or in their songs or what have you. They will actually pay a royalty income to you if you are the musician. Many people are actually doing it. And I know that you hear it quite often in the news or in the radio where you hear a an artist is actually suing another artist because they are using their beats or they're using their sound or they're using their songs in their own work. 
and claiming it as their own without a, a royalty agreement. So that income that artists and others receive as a result of someone else using their music or their product is royalty income. Residual income is similar to royalty income in that they both are passive, but residual income is that income that you get when you get paid, you continue to get paid after you've created a product and it's in the marketplace. For instance, if you create a book, once you've created the book, yeah, it took a while to create the book, but every time that book sells, you're going to get some income from that. That's your residual income. Every time, it doesn't matter, you're still going to get that income. So there you guys have it. You have the different types of income to at least get you jump started in understanding the money. I think it's imperative that if you're going to be in this environment and you're trying to build wealth, you have to know several different ways to actually gain income. And sometimes it is not earned income whereby you have to work all day or work for a certain period of time in exchange for money. I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.